Hello friends, it's Miss Julie with Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts. And as you can see, there's a holiday coming up. Do you know what holiday that is? It's a fun, silly holiday called St. Patrick's Day. And some people may wear green or put up shamrocks or rainbows or other fun things you can do on St. Patrick's Day. So I thought I would read a story to you about St. Patrick's Day. I hope you enjoy. So as you can see, it says St. Patrick's Day. On St. Patrick's Day, I wore my green shirt, green pants, and even green striped socks. Pablo wore green sneakers. Everyone was wearing something green on St. Patrick's Day. At school, we worked on teams to finish our St. Patrick's Day reports. Charlie, Jessica, and me, Nicholas and Sarah, Pablo, Kate, and Sam, Michaelo and Evelyn. Mrs. Sohn helped Charlie and Jessica and me find out about St. Patrick. He helped us type the story we told. This is the story we printed out. St. Patrick by Evan, Charlie, and Jessica. One bad day, people took St. Patrick from England across the sea to be a slave in Ireland. Patrick was a shepherd. He didn't fight with anyone, but he missed his mother and father, so he escaped. But before long, we went back to Ireland to teach people to be kind to each other. Nicholas and Sarah wrote a play. Nicholas said, I am St. Patrick. Do you know why there are no snakes in Ireland? No, everyone replied. I drove them away, said Nicholas. There was a big green snake slithering across the floor. Nicholas rang his bell and beat his drum. Hiss, hiss, I'm scared, said Sarah. I'm going to run away. Follow me, snakes. Nick, all the snakes are racing towards the sea. And now you know why there are no snakes in Ireland. My bell and drum scared them away. Pablo, Kate, and Sam love music. Mr. Kelly, the music teacher, taught Pablo and Sam how to dance a jig. Kate fiddled fast while Sam and Pablo danced. They wore green top hats. They looked like leprechaun hats. They made mischief on St. Patrick's Day. Evelyn and Miko told about the special plant St. Patrick brought to Ireland. They explained how he planted shamrocks. Shamrocks are tiny, bright green plants with three round leaves. They brought shamrocks for each of us in a paper cut. I'm going to plant ours in the garden. Mr. Madoff said so many Irish people came across the sea to America that we celebrate St. Patrick's Day when we're Irish or not. Many Americans are a little bit Irish, but not me. I'm all Irish. My mom and dad were born in Ireland, and my grandparents and my aunts lived there. I went to visit them when I was four. Here's a picture of me in that green, green land. When I got home, mom was baking soda bread because that's what her mother always did on St. Patrick's Day. People put out their best clothes and wore shamrocks. They went to church to pray the way St. Patrick taught them. When they came home, they had a fine meal with soda bread. We 
took a loaf to Pablo's mother. She said it smelled so delicious. We should have a slice with some hot chocolate. Yum. On March 17th, we all wear something green, and it's because it's St. Patrick's Day. And St. Patrick's Day comes just before spring. The sprouts that come in spring are green. That day we are all a little bit Irish. Well, did you enjoy that story about St. Patrick's Day? Maybe you learned something. Maybe there's something in the story that they did that you would like to do this St. Patrick's Day. Well, if you enjoyed this story, and you want to hear more stories or crafts from Miss Julie, come back next time to Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts. Bye!